What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over this problem called triple fat ladies. The reason why we're going over spodge now is because from the poll, it said you guys want to go over spodge questions again. So I guess we're not using bitwise anymore. We're going to start doing spodge questions. Okay, so basically, um, let's just ignore the story. Basically, you're given a, uh, a number K and you want to find the Kth number whose cube ends in 888. So basically we're just gonna keep cubing numbers, right? We're gonna keep cubing numbers. And then um, uh, the, the ones that end in 888, we're gonna count those as, as a number, right? And then now we just want to find the kth number whose cube ends in 888. So like if you had, um, uh, as you can see in the test case, 192, right, 192. If I were to cube 192, so if I take a 192 times 192 times 192, let's use calculator, okay? So if I do like 192 times 192, right? And then times 192 again, that's 192 cubed, right? Um, you have 7,077,888, and you could see the last three digits here are repeated, right? 888. So basically we want to find the kth number whose last cube ends in 888, okay? So um, how would you do this? Well, the to solve this problem, it's let's, let's actually brute force it first. So how would you solve this brute forcing? Um, so what you would, what I would do if I'm going to brute force this, is I'm actually going to loop through from a bunch of numbers from one to I don't know, ten thousand or something, right? Like one to a thousand or so, something, like right, one to a thousand, maybe more actually, maybe more. So what I'm going to do to brute force this. And then I'm going to loop through from one to a thousand. I actually have not coded this up yet. So yeah. Okay. So what I would do is I would brute force this. So I would start with one. I go up to, I don't know, maybe a million, a hundred thousand. Yeah. A hundred thousand. Okay. And then I'm going to cube this number, this number I. So I'm going to take I times I times I, right? Um, yeah. And I'll just call this uh, check, right? Okay, check. Okay, uh, remember I put LL, that just means long, long. But uh, yeah, you could, let's we could write long, long like this in case, in case of, to, to make it more readable for you guys, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cube a bunch of numbers, check from one to like 100,000, right? And then I'm gonna cube I. So I'm gonna cube this number. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of numbers from one to 100,000, I'm gonna cube it. Now what am I gonna do? I'm going to check if it ends in um, in uh, three eight eight eight, so if it ends in eight eight, right? Um, I'm going to print it out. So this is I'm just going to print out what i is. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing this is because if I'm able to find out the the numbers that actually end that are cubed uh, that actually end up in eight eight eight, I could find a pattern. So remember, so then. I could basically find a pattern for all the numbers that actually end up in 888. Then I could write a mathematical equation that allows me to, given whichever uh, k, k number, it would spit out the cube that ends in 888. So I hope you guys understand what I'm doing here, right? So being able to do, this is basically trying to um, brute forcing it first initially to find the pattern, and then you could try to find an optimal solution given that way. So that's that's what we're doing, okay? So yeah, uh, so here I'm gonna write a function called ends in and this takes in a number, I don't know, check, I don't know, check, right? And what we're gonna do is we are going to basically take the last three digits of this number. So um, we're gonna actually loop through for uh, three times, right? And then each time we're going to divide it by 10, right? So check, we're gonna divide it by 10 to get rid of the last digit and we also need to get the, get the last digit. All right, so so this is we're, then we're gonna get the last digit. So to do that, we mod check by ten to get the last digit, and now we need to check if it's um, equal to eight. So if last digit is equal to eight, then we're gonna continue doing it until we get to the end, right? So um, if it's not equal to eight, then we know that it, the last three digits are not eight eight eight, right? So I'm gonna return false. Okay. Then in the end, I'm going to return true. So basically what this is doing is it's going to go loop through three times, which gets, 
which is going to keep getting rid of the last digit every time. And then if the last digit is not equal to eight, then I know the last three digits are not equal to eight, right? Otherwise, it's just going to keep doing this three times. And then in the end, if they're all equal to eight, I just return true. Okay, so that's what the ends in does. Okay, and now I'm just going to print th what the these numbers are and see what numbers I get. And then I could write a mathematical equation to get the kth, uh, kth thing. Okay, okay. So now once we, oh, that was pretty fast. Okay. So now once once you see this, um, you could see 192, 442, 692, uh, 942, uh, 1192, 2, uh, 1794, yeah, so on and so forth. So these are the numbers. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, pencil to write down these numbers. Okay, so now I'm going to get sketch a book. Okay, so now now that I have uh, 192, so, so I have 192, 442, uh, 692, so on and so forth, right? And 942. Um, so let's actually try to find a pattern. Okay, so if I take, let's see if I just subtract the numbers from each other, what would I get? So let's actually try what happens if you take uh nine four two and minus six nine two okay so i'm actually going to rewrite this again vertically because it's much easier okay so these are the numbers the first few numbers and then i'm going to try to find a mathematical equation that could get me the kth number the kth one that ends in uh, eight, eight, eight. So um, now let's just actually just get subtract these. Okay, so let's subtract it. So let's say I have um, four, four, two, minus one, nine, two. Okay, so that gives me two fifty. So here is two fifty. Difference here is two fifty, right? So it adds two fifty. And let's check. Let's check another difference. Six nine two minus four four two. Oh, that's also two fifty. Okay, so that's also two fifty. So we're gonna do that, and then um, if the third one's the third one's also two fifty, then a nine four two minus six nine two. Okay, so it's also two fifty. Okay, okay. Um, so now let's actually see what happens if I take. 942 and add by 250. Okay, so that's also 250. So uh, as you can see, this is actually arithmetic progression where you just add 250 every single time. So um, the equation to get the, uh, given the number K, right, to find the kth value that does this. Um, so what you would do is you would take the initial number that we have, which is 192, right? We're going to add it and then we're just going to take uh, K minus one, and then multiply by 250. Okay, and then that's that's basically a mathematical equation for the um, arithmetic sequence. And uh, you could actually test this out because if you put K equals a one, you're just gonna get zero times 250, which is gonna get you uh, 192, right? So this is K equals a one. It gets you 192, right? Uh, if K equals a two, this is gonna get, this, this equation should get you 442. So I plug in K equal to two. I'm going to get 192 plus 250, which gets you 442. And if I say k equals a 3, then um, you would get 250 times 2 plus 192, which is going to, going to give you that. So if you want to do this problem, now that we found the pattern to do this problem, we don't actually need to brute force this anymore. So sometimes it's actually better to brute force and then just find the pattern for, some, for these ad hoc problems. So now that, since we already found the pattern, all we have to do is just... Um, yeah, read in the test cases and then just print out the uh, the solution. So here I'm going to read in the test cases. So while, while I subtract the values, okay, I'm going to read in my 
each value has a K, right? So read in my K value. And then after that, um, I just spit out the equation. So I'm going to print out 192 plus K minus 1 times 250. So I'm going to see out 192 plus K minus 1 times 250. Whoops. Okay, and this should work. So I have not actually submitted this yet. So let's try this. Uh, okay. Okay, well, what's the compilation error? What's compilation error? I'm getting compilation error. Oh, let's actually use C plus plus fourteen. Uh, and we got got AC. So yeah, that's basically how you do this problem. You you basically just want to find the kth number whose cube ends in eight eight eight. So just loop through brute force a bunch of cubes that end in eight eight eight, and then print those out and then find a pattern. So then uh, if you you could find an created equation where given the kth number you would find the cube that actually ends in a eight eight. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do this problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.